guys, it's me, Ursula Times, and welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my channel. Hey, of course you know, it's a thrifting show. And all of my so bees that been down with me. You know I got much love for you. You know I do. You know I do. And all the new subbies that have joined the fam, bam, welcome. We are so happy to have you. We are so glad you decided to come and join the fam, bam. Now, all these ones, you, 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 you keep coming back. You keep coming back. When you see a video, you come back. Go ahead on and subscribe. What you doing? What you doing? You part of the fam bam because you keep coming back and watching. So what's what's the hold up? Go on and subscribe. Go on and do it. Go on hit that button. It ain't going to cost you nothing. Go on hit that button. Go on do it. Make it do what it do, babe. Babe, go on hit that button because it keeps telling me. So many watching, but what, what's going on? Go on, subscribe, subscribe, share, and please, fam, bam, please give me a thumbs up. That helps my videos so, so, so much. It helps me tremendously. It lets me know uh, what type of videos you like, what type of videos y'all, you know, enjoy seeing. Uh, it helps my channel grow. It helps YouTube pr to promote me. And, uh, you know, in the framework of getting this thrifted lifestyle content out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's going to be a, a pretty hefty one, y'all. And when I thought about this, and I'm going to try not to talk too much, because I'll be looking back and I'll be like, girl, why you talk like that? Why you just blah, 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 jamming words, making up words, and blah, 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 blah. So I'm trying not to just run my mouth, but here I go. So... Anyway, like I said, welcome. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. So, as you know, spring is here. It ain't fast approaching. Approach. See what I'm saying? Approach. It's here. If y'all getting this video when I think you are spring, it's already sprung. Okay. And so, I wanted to kind of continue on with thrifting out my closet, y'all, because you will find out that a lot of things that, like, if you're a person that like color, a lot of things that they are saying, you know, is new, is trendy, is this and that, really, you know, already in your closet if you're a person like color. And because I am a person that like color, uh, adding color in my 2022 spring wardrobe is not a trend for me. It's something that I do all the time. So I did again. I went back. I did again. Okay. I went back in my closet once again and just pulled out some more things that I thought would just be, you know, good to share for 2022, uh, spring trends, uh, and just wanted to share that with you guys. So, of course, you know, I'm going to have to start with the start with the start with. We're going to start with, y'all know I utilize my chimney, honey. We're going to start with this little number here. Now, everything, and that be my, my key element, is thrifted. And that's really to prove a point that you can be on trend, have trendy pieces, and all this good stuff. And you can find it at the thrift store if you be patient. And if you, you know, just get what you like. And don't worry too much about trends. Just get what you like, child. Nine times out of ten, somewhere, somehow, someday, it's going to be trendy. So, the first thing I got, and I know, y'all, I thrifted this last summer. I'm sure y'all probably already seen it if you go back and look at if I shared because I do I have thrifted quite a few things that I haven't shared in the past, but I think I've shared this and I pretty much like this uh brand. I find this brand quite a lot. I like the uniqueness of the pieces. So I got this, and if you look and see, look at all of the colors that's in it. It's a lot of the colors that they are saying that's trending now that's in here. I love the fact that it can be a little beachy, like something you can wear on the beach. But I think pieces like this, you can also dress up and you should be seeing it in the try on now. And because it has so many colors, if you want to talk, I wouldn't do blue. And I think I'm going to try it on with two or three blazes. I wouldn't do blue because it would just be so, I wouldn't. 
Uh, I probably would do either a gold blazer, and I have a short gold blazer, uh, but I don't think I'm going to pull that out. A peach blazer or a pink blazer. You could do a purple blazer. Then you could just go out the ordinary and just do a, a white blazer. I know, y'all, I didn't put on really no makeup. I just got on my Walmart uh, dollar hoodie tie. It was just one of them one of them days. Don't take it personal. Okay, now the next thing I got, I'm sure you guys remember this. Now, the funny thing about this is it's thick. So, it's 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 cut out so you know it see it's cut out in the back but y'all this is thick i'm talking about thick thick and she got some stretch but she thick but she, again she's bold she has all these bold colors and i think she will be good for um the spring and can hit some of them trends as well as far as uh being bold and colorful yeah i be wanting to do those videos you know how the videos how the people try on and talk but y'all i just be talking i be done try the thing on and be talking and we'll be two hours and i still be talking so I, it's better for me i'm gonna try it though when i do because somebody had a suggestion for the uh do a what i wear in a week and when i do that one i'm going to I'm not going to, I'm going to do it different. Okay, so the next is, y'all should remember these because I just recently got these. If these not on trend, in my opinion, because of the color, the flowiness, and you definitely could put a tank top on with this, some sandals, or you could put a collar shirt on and a blazer. And you, I feel like me personally, it depends on where you work. You could make it a date night. You can make it office appropriate. You can make it weekend appropriate. It's just the vision that you can see yourself uh, with this. The next thing is I think could be trendy. Now, I do have, if I think to go get it, you'll probably see it in the trial. I do have a long green skirt that i think you could do this with as well but i do think this is a nice look it's kind of barking on the pleated skirt with the oversized sweater trend but you know it's getting too hot for the oversized sweater so you can still obtain that same look just take you a pleated skirt and then instead of taking you a sweater just take you an oversized button down and Throw it over that pleated skirt, and I feel like you will get the same look. And you'll see what I'm talking about in the try on. And if y'all remember this, I have the matching top to this, but I just want to utilize the skirt. I always pick these up. And if you notice, I'm just really pulling out things that's really kind of got color and bold and kind of like it's a statement within itself. Y'all know I told you I always pick these type of things up. I did a black one uh back here in uh video. And this is more like a fuchsia one. I love these because you truly can dress these up or now. You could throw this on with a tank top on under and some gym shoes. You can throw this on with a halter top on under and some sandals. You can throw this on with a nice uh, silky like. Oh, no, I wouldn't do silky. Probably like a cotton like uh, shirt on under and some heels. You can throw it on with... Uh, a tank top and some heels and throw you a little lightweight blazer over the top of it. It depends on where you're going. And I think, I do think that these are so versatile and can be used and styled in so many different ways. And the next thing we got is, of course, this is more the micro... Why can't I... Monochromatic. Monochromatic. <sighs> Look. So, in this look, we just have some blue linen pants and then just like a flowy uh, blue top that you can let flow or you can tie it up. It's just your choice of what you feel comfortable with. And uh, you'll see how I decide to wear it. And then I could do all blue. You know, I have three pair of blue shoes I can put on with this. Or you could think outside of the box and do a pop of color shoe. Or you could do a white shoe. Or you could just do whatever that makes you feel comfortable that, you know, in your comfort zone. Now, me personally, I don't think comfort zones are always the best. I think sometimes it's good to step outside of your comfort zone. That's really how you begin to push yourself 
and to see yourself uh in a different way and of course you know uh shirt dress i did a shirt dress last time so i went and just pulled out a different type of shirt dress this is an old navy one like i said all of this was thrifty and this has more like the almost like a little muscle tee i guess you say style to it but again it's black and white and again you can put this on with some white gym shoes you can put this on uh with some little white sandals if you one of those people that you just like and you just have to wear heels you can find you some little cute strappy heels and this would be cute with this because you know the blues and the pinks and the greens and the yellows and all of these things so of course i had to throw a suit in there I've had this suit for a couple of years, and then I just put the yellow purse on with it because this is exactly how I would wear it. The thing about it is I got this from the bond. I had went to the bonds. Uh, oh, this was a while back, right? And the first thing I found actually was this jacket. And I was like, oh, I like that jacket. And then I was like, that look new. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, my goodness, it's tab. And I was like, I like that. I like all those flowers and everything in it. So then I kept on looking, and then I ran across these. And I was like, oh, I was like, these will go with that um, tab of blazer. Then I looked inside. They were brand new. The regular price of these were $98. As you can see, $98. They was brand new. And I was like, wait a minute. And I was like, this tab of pants. I was like, I wonder, was this a, a suit? And then when I put it together, y'all, it matched perfectly. Next thing we got is, y'all know how I feel. If you don't know, I love vintage short sets. I love them because you can do so many things with them that I feel like, in my opinion. And when I saw this, and I had this for maybe over a year, when I saw this, I just fell in love. I love the detail of it. It's on the shirt as well as the shorts. I love the color of it. I love the length of the shorts. I just love that these things, to me, a vintage short set, I don't know when they did they short says it just seemed like to me they did them a different way it's like they did them so you could really dress them up and when i talk about shorts and, I, and like i said me personally yes like denim shorts and things like that i do love to see them like with gym shoes and stuff but when i see short sets like this i think to rev them up i think they look so nice with heels it ain't gotta be mm, heels but just nice heels you can do kitten heels you can do a nice strap heel with this i think would be so cute i think a nice mule heel with this would be so cute and so of course i've had this and this was brand new as well and i've had this for like I said, probably a year, maybe two years or more. Next thing I got, it's so funny, guys. I actually got this from the being, it was a dress. Everything fit, but but didn't fit the arms. Child, I came home and I, you see, I ain't did nothing else with it. I need to go ahead on and uh, put the uh, tape on it, the hem and tape on it. But I ain't did nothing with it. And I wore it just like this. And I would definitely style it with these uh, white pants, or you could do a cream pants. But look at all that color that it's giving you. And you'll see what it look like in the try-on. But yes, I love this. I love the look at this. It's, uh, and you can wear it by itself. But again, it's giving you all this pop of color that they're saying now. It's giving you the green. It's giving you the yellow. It's giving you boldness. It's really giving you in your face. And all of this, I got before they was talking about the trends of 2022. I got this. I just recently got this, I think, right before winter or somewhere in there. And this is a two-piece set. And I have so many other two-piece sets. Like now, I feel like a lot of the oversized men sets and things like that are really, really on trend, as they say. Child, that's why I said, don't get off into them trend. Get off into what you like. Check your closet first. So anyway, I got this two-piece set. And it's just, it looks like it might have been, no, I don't think it was homemade. I think it was purchased from somewhere, but no tags or anything in it. I don't know. But anyway, it's just this little two-piece set. Perfect for now. Because this weather one minute is it's doing what it's going to do. And last but not least, last but not what's this niece last but not least niece last but not least as always i just took this i believe this is a men's yes i took this men oversized silk yellow blouse and i took this like yellow 
a uh, dress. I don't even what, not, know the name even called this dress. And I just draped this men blouse over this dress. And I think that would be so, so, so nice. But like I said, it depends on you and how bold you want to be with what they consider the trends are. But I think this would be nice. And I think you can let your shoes be the pop of color. Or you can tone your shoes down. Let this be the, be the pop of color. And let it speak for itself. So... That was just a quick little something. I just went in my closet. I said, you know what? I'm going to see what else I have that would be considered. Considered. Considered trendy or on trend that I could pull out and share with you guys. Just to encourage you guys to look in your closet. Search your closet. And just to show you really how easy it is to uh, thrift, quote unquote, the trends or uh, what trending pieces are trending now, baby, child, the thrift, the thrift. So, with that being said, that's all I wanted to do. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I can cut this video and make it even shorter. <laughs> with that being said, I love you guys. Bye. Please be the solution to somebody's problem because we all have circumstances, situations. We all have things going on. We all have to overcome, triumph, believe in who we are in Jesus Christ and let him fight our battles, baby, because he said he will fight them battles for us. All we got to do is lift him up, praise him, acknowledge him, and show people the true and living God inside of you. You around here ragged and ugly, talking ugly, looking ugly, speaking ugly, acting ugly, smell ugly. How can somebody go... Okay, anyway, be the solution to somebody's problem. Bye. I love you guys. Mm.